Hey guys, Stephanie here from projectlifemastery.com. In this video, I'm gonna to reveal to you exactly how I'm making about $2,500 per month selling on Amazon FBA, Fulfillment by Amazon. Now, if you've been following my blog, my goals, uh, my YouTube channel, then you'll know that one of my goals has been to launch an Amazon physical product. And I've been working just behind the scenes, part-time, on the side, while I'm managing four or five other businesses to do this. And what started it all was going through a great course called The Amazing Selling Machine. Uh, it's one of the best courses I've ever been through. It just basically teaches you step by step how to private label products, how to you know, make it available on Amazon through Amazon Fulfillment, um, you know, how to rank it, get reviews, sell it, and be successful online with it. In fact, a lot of people that I know and a lot of people that have met at the live events that they host, the whole community that they have are making hundreds of thousands of dollars per month following this exact model that I'm gonna to reveal to you guys in this video. Now, I've only launched my product uh, about two to three months ago, and I'm pretty excited uh, with the results of making about $2,500 this quickly. And really, it's just, it's scaling up pretty rapidly, and so I'll probably do some more future videos with you guys sharing the results over a period of time, but I've been having a lot of people ask me about my results. They've been asking me about the process. They've been curious about it as well as a potential business model for them to get into. So I figured I'd put together this video for you guys, a step-by-step -step tutorial um, to kind of give you guys an overview of how Amazon FBA works, the process that I went through to get to exactly where I'm at today. And of course, it is a journey, it is a process. My goal is to do tens of thousands per month uh, selling on Amazon, building out my whole supplement line, a brand, all this sort of stuff. So I can share with you guys a little bit about the direction of where I'm going as well. Now, I'm gonna be releasing more training videos like this, um, and I'm gonna kind of release a bunch in a row here that's gonna share with you more of this business model, how it works, and just everything involved, and I'm not gonna hold much back. I'm gonna to reveal to you my products that I'm selling. I know a lot of sellers, they're uh, fearful of doing that because some people might compete with them or knock them off or whatever it is. So I'm not gonna hold anything back. I'm gonna show, show you guys my, my results, everything that I'm doing. But if you wanna get access to all the training, the videos that I'm gonna be releasing, then I'm gonna invite you to subscribe to a, a special VIP newsletter where I'm gonna be basically just sticking primarily just to Amazon on that list. And the reason for that is, uh, you know, my YouTube channel here, my blog, I share a lot of self-development type stuff and everything. And so a lot of you guys might not even be interested in this. So I really only wanna speak to the people that are actually very interested in this. They wanna know more. And that way I can just send you guys the videos so that you can stay up to date on my results, what I've been doing, and uh, just receive some great training from me for free on uh, how I've been doing all this sort of stuff. So. To get access to this list, um, just go to projectlifemastery.com slash FBA, okay? Projectlifemastery.com slash FBA. I'll put a link in the description or somewhere as well. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna transition and do a share screen with you guys so I can walk you through how uh, I've been doing it, everything and how my results work on Amazon. All right, so right now I'm on amazon.com and I'm gonna give you guys an overview of exactly how to sell on Amazon and the process that I've been through as well as my results. Um, now Amazon is ginormous. Uh, they're a multi-billion dollar brand, billion dollar company. Um, you know, people come to their website to buy all sorts of things and they're particularly big in the United States but they are expanding massively in all the other markets in the world, you know, India, Australia, around Europe, Canada, all over the world. And in fact, they don't even make much of a profit. They reinvest almost everything they make right back into their business so that they can grow and expand even further. So great opportunity for us, but I'm not gonna spend too much time uh, talking about the opportunity. I just wanna show it uh, to you guys just how the process works. So Amazon, uh, people come here to search for products that they wanna buy. You know, they go to the search section here and they're gonna type in whatever it is that they're looking for. So, you know, if they're looking to buy a supplement or if they're looking to buy, you know, a yoga mat or a water bottle or like a foam roller or some sort of kitchen appliance, anything. People can pretty much almost buy anything now on Amazon. So when people go here and they search for, you know, a product, let's say I type in, uh, you know, foam roller, I'm gonna say. Uh, they're gonna type it in and then they're gonna get certain results. Let me actually shrink this a little bit for you guys. Okay, there we go. 
So um, you can see there's a certain number of results that showed up, 1,500. Uh, you know, they can scroll through and basically choose which foam roller they want to know more about and purchase. You know, each listing on Amazon has Amazon reviews, has the price, the whole sort of, uh, you know, deal here. So um, I don't need to explain all that to you. You probably, if you used Amazon before, you know about the review system and how everything works. Um, but basically, the process of what I've been going through to sell on Amazon has been private labeling products. So basically, what you'd essentially do is, let's say that you wanted to sell a foam roller on Amazon, okay? And you're like, okay, I wanna sell a foam roller, or I wanna sell a supplement, or I wanna sell a yoga mat, or like a spatula, or whatever it is. You would say, okay, I wanna you know, sell this on Amazon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a supplier or a manufacturer that can manufacture the product for me, and then I can put my own label or my own packaging on that product, okay? And then ship it to the Amazon fulfillment centers in the United States, and then create a listing and start selling it on Amazon. So basically, I'm you know using the rights from someone else to be able to sell the product uh, here. Now, it's not licensing or anything like that. It's basically just taking uh, a fairly generic type product and then putting your labeling and packaging on it and just selling it on Amazon. Now, you know, let's say you want to do a foam roller, and of course, there's a whole strategy and method for identifying what's a profitable niche, um, what's a profitable product that you want to get into, what's you know too competitive or what's not competitive. You need to make sure you do your proper research first before you decide on your product to know um, what it's going to take to sell, whether you're going to make money, and just basically what it's going to take to outrank everybody else on Amazon and get more reviews than everyone else, because. You know the products that sell on Amazon, the top, you know, the, the best ones are obviously the ones that show up and the highest in the search results for its keyword. You know, if someone types in foam roller, they're not going to scroll down and go to the 64th page to you know find your product if it's listed there. Obviously, you want to have your product um, as high up for its keyword possible to make the most amount of money. Okay. So let's say you wanted to sell a foam roller and you, you've determined this is the great product to sell. Um, there's a market there, the competition's not too, too much or all that sort of stuff. And, and of course, there are other factors too you have to look at in terms of the price point, okay? What it's gonna cost you per unit, what you can sell it for, what your profit margin's gonna be, um, as well as you know how big the unit is, how you can um, ship it, you know, shipping costs and everything. So I, I always recommend and what I've learned from Amazing Selling Machine is, you know, go after products you can sell maybe for 10 to, to $40 price range, something that's relatively small that doesn't weigh too much either because the heavier that a product weighs, the more shipping cost is gonna be more involved uh, in it as well, okay? So that's a whole other thing. I'm not gonna get into it in this video. But if you've decided on the foam roller, there's uh, two different ways you can find suppliers for it. One is this website here called Alibaba. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of Alibaba. They're growing massively right now. Um, and you can basically just type in foam roller here. And you're gonna find tons of suppliers all over the world, uh, but particularly in China, because that's you know the cheapest places usually to uh, private label and outsource your products to. You're gonna find a lot of suppliers here that basically have foam rollers. So you can basically pick and choose and contact the suppliers, ask them questions, uh, you know, and basically pick whatever foam roller you like best and then put your own label packaging on it and then make your inventory order from them and then send it to the Amazon fulfillment centers. Okay, so uh, some of the questions you might ask suppliers and I might go over this in another video as well. You know, you're gonna wanna ask, you know, how much would it cost for you guys to manufacture each unit for me? You know, if I order a thousand units or 500 units from you, you know, or even 2,000 or 5,000, you know, what are the costs in that? So you can know exactly what your expenses are. You wanna know what the minimum order quantity is. You know, how many units do you have to order at a minimum from them? You wanna know um, how long is it gonna take you guys to, to manufacture it? How long does it take to ship it from China to the United States? Um, you know, what are the costs involved in terms of shipping from, um, you know, by airplane or by boat? There's some logistical things involved in that that you basically need to ask them. And you wanna, again, make sure it's a great quality product. Uh, make sure that, you know, everything is something that you are proud and happy to sell and that you know will be successful. And even something that's gonna stand out from the, com comp the competition as well and all the other products uh, here also. So that's basically how you find a supplier. You know, this is, uh, you know, going to China and Alibaba, you can find a lot of um, 
suppliers and manufacturers there. But in my case, I'm selling a supplement. And when you're selling a supplement, uh, you can't really go to China for that because there's certain regulations and everything in terms of selling that with FDA and whatnot. So for me, I source my supplement from the United States. And so another way you can find suppliers is just go to google.com. Let's say that you wanted to sell a supplement called Garcinia Cambogia, which by the way, everybody sells on Amazon. So I don't recommend actually getting into it. It's so competitive. Um, I would just type in supplier. So put in the, the product name, type in supplier. And you know, here's Alibaba, private label supplements. Here's another company. Um, you know, there's basically a whole bunch of different suppliers that you can find and you can just contact them, ask them about the price, the cost, the lead time, all that sort of stuff, okay? So basically now, once you have found your supplier, you've asked them questions and you get them to send you samples as well, okay? So you have each of them send you samples on the product. You can test it out, assess it, make sure you're happy with the quality. Everything makes sense. And again, there's a whole method and strategy to this that I can't really give you right now in this video, but in the great course, Amazing Selling Machine, they have their own strategy as well, which makes it very easy uh, to ensure that whatever market you get into is gonna be the most successful. But once you've decided on your product, the next thing is get your packaging and labeling uh, designed, okay? So um, foam rollers might not be the best example of this. Let me give you uh, something like a, a Garcinia Cambogia. Let's take a look at that. So let's say you decided on that. Uh, so you need to get designed your label, okay? So it's just basically the label, the graphics that go around the product here. Um, I used a great website called 99designs.com. Um, they're great because you can put up a contest for any types of graphics design or logo design or packaging. And then you're gonna have designers all over the world that are gonna uh, submit a concept to you. And then you get to pick which one you like best and work with them. And that's basically how I got the labeling and packaging uh, done for my products. So you, you, you wanna have obviously a label and a package that stands out, that gets attention, that's high quality, that looks good, that has all the benefits, the features and whatnot in it. Um, and you can see, you know, just by looking at in the Garcini Cambogia space, all the different labels and packages and all that sort of stuff that they have here, okay? So once you have the labels and the packaging done, you're gonna send that to your supplier. They're gonna put the, the label on your bottle or on your foam roller or on your water bottle or your yoga mat or whatever it is. And they're gonna manufacture and produce the units, uh, whatever amount that you order from them. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Amazon Seller Central. So let me show you how Amazon Seller Central works. So I'm just gonna log into my account. Okay, Amazon Seller Central is basically where you're able to set up your Amazon listing, deal with all your orders, um, how everything works is right in here. And I'll just kind of give you an overview of my account. You can see uh, right here, the total units that I've sold in the last 30 days, about 139 units. I've been making about 2,500 per month. Um, you can go over all the statistics and everything. Um, they pay you out direct deposit to your um, bank account and everything. Um, and so basically, I mean, this is everything here, uh, how it works. You can see here is uh, performance, your seller rating, your account health, as well as customer feedback. And so the great thing is, you know, when you sell your product, um, customers can leave feedback in Amazon in the Seller Central, and they can basically tell, tell you basically, you know, give feedback to Amazon and how well you're selling as a seller. And this is totally different than Amazon reviews, okay? This is all an internal feedback system, which is really great because um, you want to be in Amazon's good books. You want to ensure that your account health is good and you just kind of get extra points by ensuring that you're um, a good seller on Amazon. And everyone's happy. All your customers receive your products. Nothing is damaged. Things of that nature. Okay. Um, so here in Amazon Seller Central, you have the ability to set up and send your inventory here. Okay. So I'm not going to go into the step by steps of this, but essentially, you know, you could set up an inventory order and let's say you order a thousand units of your foam roller, Amazon's gonna then give you different locations in the United States of where to ship your product to, okay? And they typically give you a few different locations. So if you have a thousand units of a product, they'll give you multiple locations to send your product. And the reason is they wanna have uh, your product in different locations around the country just to ensure that they can deliver it as quickly as possible, 
okay? So you're gonna basically then send, once they give you the address, your supplier is gonna send either by boat or plane or whatever transportation you decide, FedEx or UPS, they're gonna send your product to the Amazon fulfillment centers. And then here in Seller Central, you're able to set up your Amazon listing. Now your Amazon listing is exactly what you see here. Okay, so I'll just pull up this product. You get to basically put in the title for your product. Okay, you get to put in uh, you know, the, the brand or the company name. Uh, you get to set the price and everything. You can offer sales and discounts. You get to put in uh, these benefits and features sections here. Okay, you also get to put in your description, product description. Okay, um, any other product details and whatnot. Um, you can basically just customize your listing and play around with it. All right, so that's uh, basically what you're allowed to do now. Once you have your product and you're selling it, okay, and your fulfillment has been, uh, your inventory has been shipped to the Amazon fulfillment centers, you set up your listing, you set up your graphics, all this sort of stuff. When your product is live on Amazon, it's not going to rank at the very top for its keyword, obviously, and it's not going to have all these Amazon reviews. So the, basically the next step is to launch your product. And there's a whole process and method for launching your product. Uh, of course, you want to get Amazon reviews for it, which will help build your credibility on Amazon and your authority on your product. Um, and basically the way that Amazon, uh, their, their ranking system works, because again, the whole goal is to rank your product as high as possible for your keyword on Amazon, is you need to ensure you have the keyword in the title, okay, of your listing. Okay, so Garcini Cambocha, you wanna have that in the title, as well as other keywords that you wanna show up on Amazon search for. Um, you also wanna make sure that you have your keywords in the keyword section when you submit your product to um, uh, Amazon Seller Central and set up your listing. You can select different keywords that people are searching for and so that your product shows up for that as well. Um, even having the, you know, the keyword throughout uh, the section here as well is great. So that's the, the listing optimization for keywords. The other piece that determines the ranking uh, of your product in the Amazon search is gonna be the number of sales that your product gets, okay, the number of sales, um, as well as Amazon reviews, and particularly verified Amazon reviews. Verified Am Amazon reviews means that someone bought your product and then they left a, a review for it, okay? That means it's verified. So the more sales that you get and the more reviews, the higher your product's gonna rank for its keyword, okay? And there are some other strategies and methods, and we'll probably release a lot of this stuff in some future videos um, to you guys, uh, you know, just how to rank and, and specifics in that sense. And again, you wanna make sure you get on the, the email list at projectlifemaster.com slash FBA where I'm gonna be sharing a lot of this stuff and emailing out all the different videos and training that I do on it. Now, let me show you uh, my product, just my experience of what's been producing the $2,500 uh, in my second month of selling on Amazon. So I decided to sell a supplement. And part of the reason is, is I wanted to have a product that I could be passionate about, something I could expand and build a brand around, and something, a product that I already personally use in my own life, uh, something that I could blog about, something that, uh, you know, it's just in the future of what I want to do with my already existing brand, which is projectlifemaster.com. And I've already done now two fitness competitions, and I feel like I can really market and sell my product better than other people in that market because I have a passion for it. And I can put in the time, the work, I have the marketing expertise for it and everything. Now, my product, I've never revealed to anyone until this very video. And the reason is, is I wanted to be able to successfully rank it and sell it on Amazon without using my blog and my email list to, to sell it. Because I knew that if I reveal to you guys my product and I launch it on my blog and stuff, my YouTube channel, then I'm gonna have a lot of people that are gonna go and buy it, right? Because they're gonna support me or they're gonna want my product. And in which case, I know that I'm gonna be successful because I have a list and a blog to do that. But I kind of feel like that's cheating in some ways. And so I wanted to prove to people that you don't need a blog, you don't need to be Stefan Palernos, you don't need to have a big email list or a YouTube channel to do this. You can do this without anybody knowing who you are and be successful at this, okay? So let me show you my product right now. And of course, when I reveal it, reveal it in these future videos, I know it's gonna start selling better than it already is here. Uh, that's okay because I've already proven what uh, I basically know how it works and proven that it works. So the product I'm selling is called L-carnitine. 
which is an amino acid. And it's a, a product that I've used now for years, which helps with your workout uh, performance, your workout recovery. It can help with your energy and fat loss as well. Um, and I decided, I'll, I'll kind of share what the reasoning why I got into it. I decided to sell uh, L-carnitine because it wasn't a particularly massive um, niche or market. There wasn't crazy amounts of competition as opposed to other supplements. And so my goal really wasn't to make like a million dollars off my first product. It was just to basically make a couple thousand a month, prove it works, and then get into my next product and expand my, my, my brand, my line. And that's what I've been doing. I've already started my second and third product now, and I've been expanding uh, pretty rapidly because I've proven that this works based on going through the amazing selling machine and everything. So when you type in the keyword, um, you know, you can see the other brands and products that show up here. Now my product, the crazy thing is, it's not even ranked that high. It's actually ranked right here for its keyword. And it's been doing this kind of sales in the last 30 days. So I know once I get my product ranked high up here, it's gonna do, be doing obviously a lot more and be selling a lot more. Um, when I first launched my product right here, it was actually like beyond the 20th page. It took, like I, could, I couldn't even find my product on Amazon for its keyword. Um, but basically just through the process, of getting Amazon reviews and getting sales and everything and just marketing it and I'll go over that in other videos, I was able to slowly rank it higher and higher up for its keyword. So now it ranks here and uh, it's eventually gonna be number one for its keyword. I've already got 150 Amazon reviews for the product, okay, um, which is better than most. I mean, this guy has 150, uh, but my top competitors, I think only have, okay, they have 150 as well. So. The pace that I'm going at, I'm probably going to have over 200 pretty soon and just dominate this whole market and this whole niche. Um, so basically, when someone types in the keyword, they're going to click on it and they're going to buy the product. Um, I got all these labels uh, designed, um, as I said, from 99designs. I optimized my, my keyword, my, my title. I've actually decided to go for two keywords, L-carnitine like this. Okay, as one word essentially, as well as L space carnitine, which is basically two words. And I've also got longer tail keywords in here as well. Um, if you come down here, you can see all the benefits of it. Now, when you're selling a supplement, you gotta be very careful with certain claims. And every, every claim that you make has to be backed up by a study. Okay, there's actually a whole method in, in terms of selling successfully supplements uh, and everything. Uh, I also offer a money back guarantee. Uh, so you can get refunds if they'd like. Uh, my product description here as well. I have a bonus report so I can get people on my email list as well, which is really great. So I can build an email list from all the people that buy my product and I can offer more products to them uh, once I expand my product line. And you can even author, offer um, promotions and um, special offers. So for example, I've got buy two bottles and get one bottle free. You know, buy one bottle, get 50% off your second bottle. And then you give them different coupon codes that people can use as well. And this is great because I have people that are buying more than one bottle for me at a time, two, three bottles sometimes. Um, you know, your Amazon bestseller ranking is basically your performance of how well your product's doing. Um, so obviously, the, you know, the better the ranking is, the more, it's, uh, more money it's going to be making you. And you can come down and see all the reviews that I have. These are all legitimate reviews. I've actually given away a lot of my products. Um, you know, giving it away to different people or giving it away using different coupon codes for a dollar or two dollars and having people test it out and use the product. Okay, so there's a whole method in terms of reviews, all this sort of stuff that I'll reveal um, at a later time in another video. But that's essentially it. That's essentially how this process works. It's just ranking this product as high up as possible and selling it and then basically starting your next product and building out a whole product line and the whole brand and the great thing with selling on Amazon, there's a lot more tools and resources that are available in terms of you being successful on it. One of which is they have their Amazon ads. You can see right here the sponsored ads. This has been a, a great thing that's really helped me sell. These are my competitors and everything that are selling as well. So Amazon ads can allow you to uh, promote your product even further, get a lot more sales. You can see down here these sponsored ads. Um, you know. You know, even in terms of because you're building a brand, you know, building out a blog, building out a YouTube channel, using Pinterest. Pinterest is great, and Instagram too for a lot of physical products. Um, building out your Facebook fan page. There's a lot of just core marketing things that can help you be successful at this. 
And a lot of stuff I've already known that's, that's helped me out a lot in this process, but you know, using you know amazing selling machine, they teach you a lot of this stuff. How to do press releases, how to do Facebook advertising. They're teaching you core internet marketing skills that will make you successful selling online. Of course, you want to leverage Amazon as much as you can in terms of their traffic and ranking for the keyword and everything. Uh, but you also want to go beyond that and promote and sell your product um, in other ways too, just by your own marketing strategies. And that's part of the reason why, like I know a lot of sellers on Amazon, friends that I have, they're, they're very afraid to share their product publicly with people, especially when they're getting good results. Uh, but for me personally, I'm not afraid of letting you guys know what my product is. I've always prided myself on being transparent uh, on this YouTube channel, my blog and everything. And that's part of the reason why I think people connect with me and, and trust what I'm saying is because I'm willing to put myself on the line, share my results. I know that there are some people that will attempt to compete with me as typically always happens. I know with Kindle publishing, when I started sharing people how I make money on Kindle, uh, I had some people that just ripped off certain books and stuff, uh, niches that I've um, done as well. And if you want to compete with me, you're totally uh, free to. Uh, however, you won't be able to really um, beat me because again, I have the asset of my blog, my YouTube channel, all this stuff that I'm going to be using to, to promote my product and sell it and, and just even my marketing expertise and everything. But there's so many markets that are amazing out there. And I'll probably do another video on how to find the right niche and market for you. Uh, but you know, finding something that you are passionate about or actually would use, that is a big advantage because having something like that means that you can, you're gonna put in the extra work to market it and sell it and be really proud of it. And so that's why I selected this product. And I recommend whatever product you select, make sure it's a product that you feel confident in and passionate about and that you can market and sell it over the long run. Okay, so hopefully this video just kind of reveals to you and shows you the overview of the process. There's a lot of moving pieces. There's a lot of logistics involved. Um, there's a lot more than obviously what I'm showing you in terms of the step-by-step, -step, the, method the methodology, the strategies, launching your product, all this stuff. And it, it'd honestly be hours and hours and hours of videos for me to show you everything and, and share with you how I've been doing it all. But I want to give you an overview and just share my results and I'll do, again, future videos. I want to encourage you again to get on the email list, projectlifemastery.com slash FBA. Enter your email there um, so that I can, you know, I, I know that you're interested interest in this sort of stuff and I can send you some more videos and training on this. Um, again, I mentioned this before, the, the, the course that I use is called the Amazing Selling Machine, which is probably the best course out there teaching you how to sell on Amazon. And, you know, this business is not cheap to get into. I mean, depending on what product you're, you're selling and everything, uh, there is some capital involved to get involved with it, but the potential is massive. I mean, you're selling a real product, you're, you're building a real business on Amazon. And like I said, there's people making hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. And there's actually even some people in the Facebook group for the amazing selling machine because they have a whole community that are posting screenshots of doing over a million dollars in a month. So it gives you an idea of the potential that Amazon has and of course, you know, there is an investment involved in the course, the training, the live event, everything you're getting. But the truth is, if you, I, I've been doing internet marketing for seven years or so, and there's no way I would be able to do what I've done here without the Amazing Selling Machine course. It just would have been, I mean, for me to try to figure out all that stuff, it would have been hell. It would have taken me years to be able to figure out all the stuff they have in the program. And that's with my years of internet marketing experience. And I really believe that if you try to do it on your own, you can't compete with everyone else that's in the program because they have all the strategies and tools and, and techniques and all that sort of stuff, the softwares that they release for you as well that you don't have. So you, you can't compete with people that have all those things as an advantage over you. So you kind of need to have a good training program to be able to compete with everyone else that's, uh, that's in the program. So... Um, again, get on the email list, projectlifemaster.com slash FBA. I'll send you some more videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, just kind of this overview of how everything works. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.